Heather, Toby, and Kerry Nomad, and Kedor. Ara, we in the mid northeast region are blessed with one of the most significant internationally recognised tour tourism resources in the country. Uh, the 110 kilometres of the Boyne Valley is literally uh, littered end to end with internationally recognised historic heritage sites. You've drawn them, you have the high crosses of Monaster Boyce. The world's heritage site of Brunabonia containing Newgrange, uh, now St. Douth. The Battle of the Boyne site at Old Bridge, Slane Hill, Slane Castle, Navan, Art Mulkin, Art Bracken, Dunmo, obviously Tara, wh who would have uh, currency internationally. Um, you have the monastery at Bective, the 12th century cathedral at Newtown Trim, and the biggest Norman castle in the country uh, at Trim Castle. Um, the Boyne Valley also contains the, uh, the Blackwater River, and here we have the, the Monastery of Kells, um, and also, potentially I'd like to see in the future, a volume of the Book of Kells uh, in the town. And then we have Loch Crew, 5,000-year-old pastor's grave uh, in the northwest of the county. Now, there's literally hundreds more uh, smaller uh, items, such as bridges, rafts, wells, castles, and other sites, and all, I suppose, in a very, very scenic valley. Now, the value potential of this uh, tourism product is recognised by Fulch Ireland and is part of their strategic plans. However, unfortunately, the Boyne Valley is not exploited properly. It is completely underexploited as a resource. Most of the tourism that actually happens in, in the Boyne Valley is a day trip from a Dublin hotel in a bus out to Trim or into Newgrange, back to Dublin for dinner and, over, and overnight. And therefore, we're not utilising this resource whatsoever. Now, a complete Boyne Valley Greenway would radically alter the nature of tourism in this region. It would bring tens of thousands of people into the region for between five and ten days as they walk or cycle the route. It'd be a boost to hotels, to restaurants, B&Bs, bars, shops, activity centres throughout the area. It would increase employment. It would increase money in circulation and living standards. Now, a lot of good work has already been done, and much of the Boyne is actually paved uh, already. Um, there's four miles north of Navan, there's about three miles around Trim, and there's other sections in, in around Slane as well. It's actually just a matter at this stage of filling the gaps. Now, great work has happened over between Mornington and Oldbridge, funded by your department, Minister, and I welcome uh, that investment. And I believe that that's a sign that you are taking the product uh, 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 seriously. A good deal of feasibility and scoping work has been done uh, already. And there, all the stakeholders that I've spoken to, you know, Meath Partnership, Meath County Council, Meath Tourism, Fulcher Ireland, the NTA, the NRA, and your own departments are in favour of this development. But my only concern here is that the rate of development is far too slow. If we look at the work that's been carrying out currently uh, linking Drogheda and the uh, Newgrange, or the Old Bridge section, we're looking at 1.8 kilometres being developed there. The other section that's going before planning very shortly is, I think, around uh, two and three kilometres. At this rate of development, the Boyne Valley project would take over 20 years to complete. Now, I honestly believe what we need is a ministerial priority on this issue. We need to make sure that this happens within the lifetime of this generation, that it brings value and work to this generation of people living in the region. Thank you very much. Uh, first of all, I want to thank Deputy Tobin for actually raising this issue with it all, because I have to say you're talking to the converted here. Uh, as somebody that comes from a county that we established the, the Western Greenway, and I'll, I'll, res I'll respond to you, the official response in a moment. You're quite correct when you say this has created badly needed jobs in a region that won't get the major uh, infrastructure into the county. And it's surprising, you know, for small investment, small money, what it has done for, for tourism, what it has done for the, the revitalisation of three towns, particularly Newport, uh, Mulroney and Ackill, and 
Westport uh, as well. And really, what has done is just amazing. And I would hope, maybe at some stage, that you could bring down some of your people from from your area and come down to the west. The town council will be delighted to meet you. The town council, with the, with uh, the town council, the county council, and everybody involved in the Greenway, will be delighted to assist you and help you in any way. There's people coming in now from all over the world and all over the country, actually looking what we have done. I'm going to give the official response now, if you don't mind. Thank you. I am delighted to have the opportunity to discuss the development of cycle greenways in the house today, as it represents a really new and exciting aspect of tourism and recreation development in Ireland. There is a huge interest across the country in this area as cycle projects are well received given that they can deliver great benefits to local communities for the prospect of recreation, health, transport and tourism. And for, th for this reason, Minister Radica, Minister Kelly and myself are actively supporting such developments. Indeed, the programme for government gave a commitment to continue to invest in Ireland's national cycle policy, and this is being realised for the most part through funding programmes administered by my department and the National Transport Authority. In 2011, over 10 million was allocated by my department to local authorities for cycling infrastructure such as cycle lanes, bike parking and cycle greenways. Flagship projects completed by local authorities to date include schemes for commuter cyclists such as the Grand Canal Cycleway in Dublin and cycleways for leisure cyclists and the Great Western Greenway linking Westport to Achill. In February 2012, the Department of Transport, Tourism and Sport announced a five-year budget of £65 million for, for sustainable travel. Cycling is a key component of the sustainable travel agenda and infrastructure is being de de delivered under various programmes, most notably the, the National Cycle Network programme. The NCN programme will be allocating approximately £13.5 over the period 2012 to 2016 to advance routes that will provide valuable transport and recreation infrastructure with the added potential to enhance tourist activity for the areas concerned. As part of this programme, my department recently announced the provision of £6.5 under a second round of funding for the years 2014 to 2016. It is hoped that over this period, two to three projects, or phases of projects, can be funded from the allocation. This funding will be allocated to local authorities through a competitive pro process, and as I explained already, interest in this area is intense, and the standard of the application is expected to be very high. Nonetheless, this is an ideal opportunity for the projects such as the Boyne Greenway, and it will be a matter for Mead County Council to advance any such proposals and submit applications. If funding is required to the department, I, I beg your pardon, the form is required to the department by the 15th of November, it is hoped that the successful projects will be announced by the end of 2013-2014. I wish to advise the House that my department's role in relation to tourism related primarily to the area of national policy, and I do not have responsibility for the provision of funding to individual tourism investment projects. Responsibility for such matters is devolved to Falch Ireland under Section 8.1 of the National Tourist Development Authority Act 2003. In carrying out this devolved function, Falch Ireland operates the Tourism Capital Investment Programme, which provides support for investment in certain categories of visitors', of visitors attraction, visitors' activity and tourism infrastructure. The Great Western Greenway project that I have mentioned previously received support under the Tourism Capital Investment Programme. It is a real success story for, for green, accessible adventure tourism in Ireland. It has set the standard for cycling projects in Ireland and has been hugely successful, so I fully recognise the potential benefits of greenways for tourism. In 2014, £16.2 million has been allocated to Falchow Ireland to continue the implementation of the programme. There is also a specific allocation of £8 million in Budget 2014 for the development of the Wild Atlantic Way project. Unfortunately, due to the high level of existing commitments to projects already approved under Falch Ireland Tourism Capital Investment Programme, virtually all of the available funding up to 2016 is already committed. Should funding become available under the Tourism Capital Investment Programme, Falch Ireland may then be in a position to consider applications for the relevant local authorities for Greenway Tourism Projects. Margaret Erra, and Chuck, two minutes um, additional statement. Can I call you? Um, I've had the pleasure of, and indeed I've been down to the West on three occasions purely because of the Greenway has brought myself and my family down there. It, it's such an attractive product um, and I think it's important that we replicate it as much as we can throughout, throughout the state. I think that the business case for the, the Boyne Valley Greenway is, is, is made. It's, it's a matter of making investments and then reaping the return. 
Um, and I understand that the funds are tight, and, and, and this is why I believe sometimes uh, we need to take a, a different strategy in the development of these projects. I'm not suggesting that we build a Gucci pathway uh, along the, the River Boyne at the moment. Hikers, in actual fact, want permission to walk. They want firm ground underfoot. They want maybe a bridge or two to ford streams. They want safety from animals. And um, what we need is a community group that I'm involved in at the moment, at Glown Nabonia Greenway. We're actually speaking to landowners over the next number of months to seek permission for walkers to walk on their land. And I believe that this initiative would actually uh, allow for the possibility of the Boyne Greenway to be opened up within two or three years at a very low level of investment and actually at low risk to the government as well. In other words, that by just getting people walking along it with very limited investment, we would be able to prove demand so that the upgrading of it at, at a later date will be seen, as, I suppose, as a prof profitable no-brainer for the government. Now, and one of the reasons why I'm asking for ministerial priority on this is the NRA is developing a greenway from Dublin to Galway at the moment along the Royal Canal. And the greenway is supposed to have a spur to trim. Now, this spur could easily travel along the southern reaches of the River Boyne, which would fulfil the objectives of the Boyne Valley Greenway and the uh, Dublin to Galway Greenway as well. And this is, 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 shows the need for joined up thinking uh, in this area. And for joined up thinking, we actually need the stamp of priority from the Minister. Uh, I'm having a meeting with a number of key stakeholders next Monday, uh, some of the stakeholders that I mentioned earlier, about joining up uh, our thinking on this and prioritising it in the next while. I would ask that the Minister would actually attend this meeting, or at least have a senior member of your staff attend this meeting, to give it that imprimatur of the Minister. And it's, I, I, I believe that it's key if we want to change this from a 20-year project to a project that will be a benefit to our generation. Thank you very much. I, I hope that, that, that you will actually make an application under the National Cy Cy Cycle Network Scheme. I mean, Meath County Council have up to the 15th of November, which is important. You, you quite correctly said there, the most important issue in all this, and there's an issue that in other parts of the country they're not having the same success that we had in the West. The one people and the most important people in all this is the farming community. Because if they don't play ball with the, with, with the county councils or whoever is putting it in place, you have a problem. And I want to take this opportunity now, to, particularly in the west of Ireland, in already the, 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 the greenways and, and, and a lot of the, the infrastructure that has been put in place for very small money. And you're quite correct, for very small money. I want to thank the farmers and say to them, thanks for being cooperative. And they, none of them got any payment. They might have got some benefit in kind, very small benefit in kind, you know, repair from walls where people would be walking along and things like that. They had worries in relation to safety aspects and people coming out of their land, but they played their part. In relation to, to, to the Greenways, government is committed to it, my department is committed to it. And the reason now that we're committed to it is we have seen the success of the Greenway in Mayo. 200,000 people, 200,000 people will have cycled and walked the Greenway between now and the end of the year. And it's not me saying it, there's a, a monitor there monitoring everybody every day, and that's why they're doing it, just to get the statistics to see who's using it. It has been a great success, and we have put a lot of capital funding into a lot of other projects throughout the country. We did not get the return that we, we should have got. We got a return for a very small investment in relation to this. I would love to see, you're quite correct, in the National Roads Authority between Dublin and Galway. I would love to see them being able to, to put a spur into your particular area, but I think that's a matter now for the County Council. They need now to make their application, and they will get full support from my department. They're not going to be able to go around to, to, to every meeting and to meet everybody, but what they will do when they make the, their application, there will, there's a professional team in place, they're going to assess what, what, what the applications are, they're going to, to make judgments on them applications, and we are committed to funding for the future for it. It's the way forward, and you know, activity, activity tourism it's one of the greatest success stories we have in the country. And the main thing about it is we actually have the infrastructure. We don't have to buy the wind. We don't have to buy the countryside. We don't have to buy it. We actually have it in the country. And it's resources like this that we should be using more, that we should be selling more. And activity tourism, when people actually come into the country, they spend more money than any other tourist that comes in. I'm supportive of what you're saying. We're not going to be able to, 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 to support every single one of the schemes. There is a, there is a structure in the, within the department. There is an, a mechanism there for people to make the applications now. We want to, over the next couple of years, to develop as many greenways as possible around the country. Thank you, Minister. And that